Hi all and welcome back at my channel, that's me again, your ultra NSC in the place to be. Yeah, nice to have you with me here uh, on this video. I want to show you a custom firmware for the PlayStation 3, which is the custom firmware from Little Bollop uh, 4.83 with Dual Boot. So now for some people, what is Dual Boot? Um, <laughs> Yeah, don't ask me. Um, I'm now doing this video together uh, for my first time. I have just read about a little bit and I think this is maybe interesting, but I don't know. Um, now for the question, what does this custom firmware from Little Ball Up? Um, this is a custom firmware which is based on 4.83. And that means if you are installing this, your custom firmware will be later like an original firmware but this is a fake original firmware so that means i am now right now here on the custom firmware from spy which is based on 4.83 okay um but if you install the custom firmware from little ball up 4.83 you're gonna have at last it's like an original firmware okay um yeah, I don't know myself, I just want to test it myself, I want to see also if I got here my uh, folders here still. I don't know because um, I have also not seen anything on the internet and that's why I'm doing this with you guys. Uh, I just want to show you some yeah stuff that you should know uh, before you start this. You should also of course um, have yeah set it your toggle QA flag. Um, toggle QA flag is a very important thing we can say, uh, sometimes not needed, but it's mostly better to have it. Um, yeah, I don't know um, if you have it, but I got it already a long time, uh, and I'm also, like I told you here, on the Spy custom firmware. Um, I prefer also the custom firmware from uh, Ferox, uh, which is also based on 4.83, but I'm here on Spy. Because the last video that I have done was, we can say, this video which I have installed a custom firmware from Spy. That's why I'm still on Spy. I can uh, now just yeah make a quick restart that you can see um, the Spy logo. I'm here on, uh, we can say, a custom firmware from Spy, which is based on um, 4.83. But like I told, I just want to show you this, that you can see um, that I'm really here on a custom film and not on an original one. So this is like I told the custom firmware from Spy and I'm not on an original firmware. I just wanted to show you this. Okay, um, but the people that already knows a bit about this stuff, they have just saw that I'm not on an original firmware because you got here these two folders. At last I got here as a multi-man and also the Reebok toolbox. Okay, um, Let's start this shit. I got here already the custom firmware from Ballup uh, with 4.83, which is a dual boot. And like I told, dual boot means um, that you will have here later uh, an original firmware. Yeah, but you will be able to go always back to the custom firmware. Yeah, I'm not also surprised at what will happen, but I just want to test this with you guys. Um, the first thing when you are testing around, um, you should, like I told, um, yeah, activate toggle QA flag. Um, I don't know if you know about that, but you can, you can say press these combinations where you press R1 and R2, L1, L2. You just need to press all here together, and then you need to go. We can say like that, okay? And then here, you see. This is a combination. You need to press R1, R2, L1, L2, and then you press the L3, and at the same moment you just press down. And then you have, we can say here, the toggle uh, QA flag um, yeah, settings. Um, so then you just go to debug settings, and you should be uh, sure that you have just system debug on, just like I got it here. Um, you can also see it. If you have it already on, uh, when you go here to system update, then you got here four options. Normally it just got two options here. Normally it just got these two options here. But 
if system debug is on you will be able to have this two more but it's just that you um, can see uh, how to uh, check this very fast so I have now just uh, set it off and then I go again here and then you can see now I just have these two options now okay but for this stuff you should really um, yeah set this on it's always good to have this on uh, when something uh, happens bad or whatever um, yeah it's always better you have it um, now like I told I have, a, I have uh, already put the we can say um, custom firmware from little ball up here inside and like you can see you are also not able to see uh, something like yeah written like little ball up or whatever the most custom firmware uh, you got here as a written uh, let's say like Rebug or Ferox or Spy or whatever yeah overflow and 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 on this custom firmware here not because this is really based on an original firmware 4.83 which you later will be also on we can say uh, yeah original firmware which is a fake one okay so that means after you have done this your PlayStation is like on an original firmware later and that's why this is called it dual boot because you can be on an original fake firmware and if you like you just can go back all the time and you don't need uh, to make any downgrades or you don't need an E3 flasher or you don't need a Tensi or whatever you just can go back to your original firmware uh, to your custom firmware sorry my fault and that's not bad but for me now, my question is, is it necessary, is it great, is it not? Do we need that? Do we want that? What is the difference? And this is what, yeah, I am now trying this to see and uh, I just want, yeah, yeah, to see for myself what will we have, what futures will be inside. Um, if this is really just, we can say, original firmware, then I don't know if this is, uh, yeah, we can say interesting for me or for you guys because um, it's not that bad because you can go online here just save, okay? You can go save online uh, because Sony um, will not detect you that fast, okay? Because this is really like an original firmware, but it's, we can say, a fake one. Fake because you can go all the time back to your custom firmware and don't forget we are here now on 4.83 which means when you want to get back to the custom firmware I think you should also of course use a 4.83 custom firmware because it can be when you just try to install a 4.82 custom firmware that this maybe will not be possible okay so that's why um, just keep in mind, if you want to go back, um, the best is that you first install a custom firmware which is also based on 4.83, just like Ferox or again the Spy custom firmware. Um, if you have any problems to install this, that means that your PlayStation um, has some problems. Um, you can have a lot of problems. It can be that uh, the that that the uh, uh, Blu-ray device is uh, uh, we can say damaged, or the uh, Bluetooth antenna or the Wi-Fi antenna is damaged, and uh, these are all just reasons when you are not able to install uh, custom firmware or uh, original firmware or something else. Okay, so with a broken PlayStation 3, you will not even be able to get into the PSN store. So that means um, if you have a PlayStation which you have problems to start some applications like Multiman or other applications like PSN Store or whatever. If you have a PlayStation, let's say, yeah, with you cannot be able to go into the PSN Store, that means uh, you have a problem somewhere. And yeah, latest then when you want to install a firmware. Yeah, if it's original or a custom firmware, you will not be able to install it because you will have just some problems. And the other thing is also, if you have a DEX PlayStation, 
then of course you will also get an error message because um, this is we can say a custom firmware or a firmware for the retail which is sex uh, firmwares so you need a sex console for that to install also the sex firmwares um, a lot of people asking me a lot of questions and um, sometimes yeah I just don't want to uh, answer back or respond because these are uh, we can say questions where I where I know myself um, that these people they don't know what they are doing and in this case this is really danger and that's why sometimes I just don't uh, respond to these guys maybe I just say or tell them you need to google about that <laughs> or you just need to read a little bit more about that and um, they should really know what they are doing because um, yeah you cannot uh, install anything and then uh, you are just telling uh, somewhere that this was a bad firmware or a bad custom firmware because you had an error yeah this errors it's just not because um, other stuff or whatever sometimes you need to take care of what you are doing and sometimes you also need to read about before you're doing something so the fault is not always on the people's just like yeah on my video or whatever uh, yeah like I told um, I have just um, yeah feel that I have just knew that uh, the folders here now they are not there that means um, maybe I don't know maybe we will be able to start multiman uh, we will test this all because I'm new to this all here now um, some people of you maybe has or have already tested it but I'm not um, that's why I just want to see if this will be able to start this will be really great and if this starts that means that you should also have of course multiman but it's not starting I, I just knew that yeah this was just yeah my fault but I just knew that I just wanted to test it this would be really great <laughs> but then uh, it would be strange let's see if the rebug toolbox will start but it's just great to know this and that's why I'm doing this video with you guys this is my very first time that I'm installing here this custom firmware from little ball up which is uh, we can say fake original firmware 4.83 that means you can do all what you can do also uh, with your original firmware but yeah in this case for me it's not interesting okay because um, yeah I'm now here like in the jail you know <laughs> I cannot do anything what I want it's it's great of course it's great you can do all the normal stuff all this yeah the standard stuff you can just do all like you would do also on your cast or, or we can say on your original firmware uh, but for me now yeah this is not the thing that I have thought to be um, I think maybe you gonna be able to install <laughs> To install the custom firmware now from Han over here but this is all a bit yeah tricky and maybe a bit too dangerous I would not risk that uh, <laughs> if this is my PlayStation I would not risk that but um, it was good to see and um, I will now also uh, test if I can really go back easily to my custom firmware which I will now install from Ferox and uh, I just can recommend Ferox because I use Ferox a long time also and uh, yeah it not needs to be always rebug 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 guys okay I don't understand this people you can be happy that it's working already so it not needs to be all the time rebug okay so a lot of people are waiting now for the rebug version 4.83 but rebug maybe will do nothing anymore because Rebug is working now with Nintendo and uh, they have just done some chips, some mod chips for the Nintendo Switch or whatever and maybe they will one day yeah, do nothing more on 
we can say custom firmwares for the PlayStation 3. And that's why you can go still for the Reebok 4.82.2 and you can spoof it or you just install a custom firmware from Ferox um, which is uh, already based on 4.83 also and it's also not bad, what's the problem? I, I can't understand these people because it not must be always a custom firmware from Reebok. I know Reebok is good and I know Reebok has a lot of features and I know Reebok yeah, is really one of the best but uh, Ferox is also one of the best in my eyes and um, it conforms also always what you want to do with your PlayStation. If you want to have a DeX console to make some GTA stuff and moddings and whatever, then Reebok is okay, yeah. But for all the rest, you can be very, very happy also with, uh, we can say, Ferox or with Spy or whatever. The most important is um, that you, let me see if this, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh, just want to test something. Okay, no, it's not working. It's really like an original firmware. <laughs> not bad. Now let's see the true, if this will be possible to install. And I got here, like you can see, the version from Ferox, uh, which is based on 4.83. Let's check this out. I hope this will work. If not, it's no problem for me, because I can already do any shit. I have all the stuff here to get my PlayStation back to the custom firmware. I got all the equipments at home and that's why it's great. When NSC is doing this stuff for you guys that you yeah, just can see what is this stuff. Yeah? And now this was just a video that you guys know. Yeah, yeah you guys was now able to see what is this custom firmware. Sorry. What is this custom firmware? What has this custom firmware? Do you need that or not? And for my opinion, um, it's great. It's a great thing, like you can see. Um, yeah, it seems to work. I can really go back to my custom firmware. And that's for me very interesting. That's for me very important too. And um, it's a great thing. I have read about that uh, the overflow uh, from Bobby Downgrades he has or had also done it but um, some people has just report some errors while it was installing just right just like here right now at 70% they uh, just had we can say some errors uh, it was not able to go back to the custom firmware I think um, but this can happen also like I told um, if your PlayStation has another problem. Uh, maybe the guys was also not able to install it because um, we can say there was on DEX or DEX tax, whatever, I don't know, maybe they had a corrupted system and you should always be yeah, we can say sure that your PlayStation is just really all okay. And yeah, the best thing to test this also is really just to try to get into the PSN store and if you are able to visit or to enter the PSN store then your PlayStation is good to go we can say then you have no trouble and um, this is yeah a very important thing that you should know guys really if you are not be able to enter into the PSN store then something is wrong with your PlayStation. Mostly it's the Blu-ray device and uh, sometimes also the Wi-Fi antenna broken or the Bluetooth antenna broken and yeah in this case you need of course to we can say repair your PlayStation. Uh, you can mostly repair also the Blu-ray device which is easier to repair as the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth antenna. When your Bluetooth antenna or the Wi-Fi antenna is broken, you need to completely remove it. On the PlayStation 3 Fat Editions, this is of course easier, because you just can plug off the Wi-Fi antenna. Um, but on the PlayStation 3 Slim Editions, you need just to, we can say, 
do a reflow, you need to uh, desolder uh, the antenna. And on the PlayStation 3 Slim, it's a bit yeah more difficult, we can say. On the PlayStation 3 Fat Edition, you can mostly just change all. Um, this is no problem to change the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth antenna on the PlayStation 3 Fat Editions. That's why they are still great. But yeah, um, PlayStation 3 is still going on and it's not bad with the custom firmware. These PlayStations are just great and um, yeah, it's good to have a stuff like this. So, here we are, Cobra Ferox. That means that this has work. I can also hear my fan again. And um, it's good. So the fan is now turning higher because Webman has just noticed that the CPU and GPU or the cell and RSX was running a bit hotter and now the PlayStation is just trying to cool it and that's great and that's why I love Webman. Um, yeah, like we can see, we are back. This is also working again. And here, yeah, all the stuff is great. Rebug toolbox. Yeah, it looks good. It was just a test for me and for you guys, that you guys can see um, what is this and what does this <laughs> and what's the pros and what's the contrast. And um, yeah, okay. 4.83 with. Ferox, which I really love. RSX is going down now again, like you can see the temperatures. And um, yeah, it's just okay. Um, okay guys, this was all for me. Uh, next videos are coming. And uh, I just wanted to do this for you guys. So you now can, we can say, you guys cannot check for yourself if you need it or not. Uh, for me personally, no, thank you, um, because I miss this folder here, <laughs> and um, this is for me one of the most important folder. And you can go also, we can say, very safe to online if you got a custom firmware which is based already on 4.83. Okay, because the original firmware from Sony now is already 4.83. But if you have Rebug on the background, then you have Rebug 4.82 and you will need to spoof it. And there's the problem. The spoof is a bit danger. And um, that's why I'd, I just prefer to be on Ferox or with a custom firmware from Spy, which are boot based on, on a real 4.83 as to risk my ass and install Rebug because the Rebug, the latest one, is just only 4.82.2 and you will need to spoof it and that's why for me it's just, yeah, it's danger to go online with that and that's why I prefer to go with Ferox 4.83 guys okay, I wish you the best this was me, NSC in the place to be peace, haha <laughs> Wish you the best guys, this was just that you can see what is this dual boot and um, I just wanted to show you, maybe you like it, maybe you yeah, want to get online safe with a fake original firmware which is really working great, like you can see it was just perfect, really guys, <laughs> it was cool, so if we have some uh, games downloaded if you have a real PSN account and whatever and yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. It's cool Okay guys. See ya. That was me NSC in the place to be. Bye. Bye